All right, I'm starting again. Let's see, let's see. Let's see if it comes back. It does not look like it is coming back. Ugh, no, uh, Limbs is not on the internet, too, no. I'm so sorry, Taylor. This sucks. So it's not going to lag. It's going to start lagging soon because it's still showing me that I'm dropping frames. I'm so sorry, guys. This is this sucks for me, too, and I know it sucks for you guys to watch. I'm back, but I'm still dropping frames. I think I, I think I might have to end the stream early. Darn. I'm so sorry, guys. No, I don't have fiber. No, we don't have fiber here. We only have cable. Um... We nothing else is connected. It's that I don't think that's the problem. I think there's been some kind of damage because this only started happening when we start when the ice and rain started. Um, so yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm so sorry. I really wanted to finish our trailer park today. This sucks. It still says that I have a very poor connection. Um, I'm probably not going to stream again until I get somebody to fix this because this is just so annoying. Um, I am, I'm going to write this in chat. I'm not going to stream again until this is fixed. No stream tomorrow. I will try to get it fixed this week. Oh, it's back. It's back. It's back. It's back! <laughs> okay, welcome to part two of the stream. Um, if you're watching this back on YouTube, I'm so sorry about that. I am having technical difficulties, so I had to break the stream up into two. And uh, it's my inter something is wrong with my internet, obviously. It keeps cutting in and out. It keeps um, lagging and, ca and causing me to drop frames. So it's a huge pain in the ass. And I know it's not fun for my, my viewers to watch either. So sorry. Yes, it's an emotional roller coaster step up. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I know it still goes through, ca through cable, but we don't have fiber here. We just have only just regular cable is what I was trying to say. Regular cable internet. Um, okay, so. Yes, I what I may do is if I don't get this fixed by next week, I'll just stream on you. Well, I don't know. Streaming on YouTube is still not going to work, is it? Because it's, it's not that I'm streaming to Twitch that's the problem. It's just streaming at all. Okay, so it's back. Let's, uh, it says I have a strong connection, no dropped frames. So let's go ahead and finish this while we can. All right. So I'm going to jump right into, let me just put the outside light since I already had that. Yes, yes. And let's go ahead and do the uh, counters over here. And, I mean, I could try, I would try on YouTube if it comes down to it, but I'm, I'm also, also, uh, my boyfriend has, like, a 5G box I can use as well, so some way or another by next weekend, this is gonna be remedied, like, I can't, I can't keep, go on like this, y'all, I can't, it's bad for you guys and it's bad for me, so, uh, I will get this fixed somehow by next weekend, even if I just have to use a temporary solution until I can get the company out here. And we're going to do a pink, of course, we're going to do a pink stove and a pink refrigerator. All right. Of course, we must. Shit. It stopped again. This is so annoying. You are lucky you have fiber, Misha. Yeah, you are. Uh... Yeah, we just don't have fiber that reaches to where I am. And I think they actually do have it. Oh, it's back. It's back. It's back. 
I think they actually do have it have fiber in my town, but I live outside of the city limits and I don't think it comes out here. Okay, it does suck. It sucks so bad. Thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me. I do apologize for this. Um, I wish I could have it fixed instantly, but you know how it goes. I'm going to have to... Uh, somebody's going to have to do something about this. All right. Dang it, it just went out again. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can put these upper ca cabinets on at least. You guys have seen me do that a bunch of times, so at least I can get that done while we're lagging. While it's lagging like crazy. Um, I'm gonna put the pink, pink cap- Oh, you know what? I didn't even put the pink top. I should put the pink top on the cabinets too. The Pepto kitchen. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I meant to put the, put the pink on top, too. Pink, double pink. Double pink counters. Uh, there we go. Perfect. So pink. It's so pink. It's sickeningly pink in here. It doesn't even match. The pinks don't even match. <laughs> Um, I wish I could stream longer today, but I can't because I've got an, another obligation after the stream. Yeah, I can't find a reason for this either. I don't know why this is happening. Yes, I've restarted my router a bunch of times. It doesn't seem to do anything. Um, yeah, I don't know what the reason is, but I think it has something to do with the storms. I think something has been damaged outside of my building and I'm gonna tell them I need a technician to come out here. <laughs> Fixing my broken internet. Yes, Nate. <laughs> Perfect. It's still dropping, y'all. Dang. I'm gonna save my game. We almost got the trailer park done. Almost. <laughs> Is it working for you? Well, it's still showing that I'm dropping a crazy amount of frames. So it's like, I don't want to do too much right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I do apologize. I don't even think... When I upload this back to YouTube, if we, if I don't... Oh, it's back! It's back! <laughs> oh my god! It's back, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully it catches up. <laughs> Alright, so here's the pink... The many different colored pink kitchen all right super cute it reminds me have you seen that lady i saw this lady on uh youtube shorts she's probably on tiktok too where everything she has is pink like her whole house is just pink it's like it looks like she lives in cotton candy world have you guys seen this i can't think of her name i've i it started started showing it to me and i was just like so fascinated by the pinkness um, all right, so I am going to go over here and do the bathroom now. Hopefully you guys are back with me. It's the Barbie trailer. Yeah. <laughs> I should profit on the lag and just run ads when the stream struggles. I don't want to go that far. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a pink bathroom as well. We got to do the pink toilet. You know we do. You know we do. Gotta do the pink turlet. Gotta do um, the pink, the pink sank. Oh yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Kira, for the 12 month prime sub. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. We're gonna do, I'm not even gonna go looking for the, th for the thing. I'm just gonna come over here and grab it. Yes, it's back y'all, it's back. We're back. Are we, are you guys, can you hear me saying we're back right now? I don't think that lowering, lowering, okay, good, we're back. Okay, great, 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 great. Awesome. I don't think lowering the quality on your end would help because I don't think it, that's the issue. It's because it's my connection, I think, is the problem. Um, yeah. But anyway, we're back for the moment, so let's try to get some more done. Put the bathtub in. Okay, we've got the fixtures done, thank goodness. <laughs> And then let's do the bathroom light. Ooh, which I want to do the pink light. There's a pink light, right? Yes. Everything's going to be so super pink in here. I hope Tina loves this trailer because this is for her. And then we're going to do the rest of the lights in the house. So I'm going to do... 
uh, two lights in the kitchen. We'll do two in the living room. We'll do one in the bedroom and one in Tina's bedroom. I'm gonna turn quarter tile on just so I can kinda put that in the center there. Okay, all the lights are done, yes! Yes, so now our trailer park is looking great. We got all the interiors done. Now, what I wanna do is put, I do wanna do light switches, okay? And it shouldn't take too long. So hold on. Where are my light switches? Where are you, my friends? Are they on wall? Is it wall hangings? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do a single light switches. And I'm gonna start over here and I'm just gonna put, actually, I need a double light switch. Oh, and phones! How could I forget phones? Let's put phones because whoever, if Townie's moving here, we, want, we need to be able to call them as well. So let's put phones. Um, in all the houses real quick. And then we'll do light switch. Light switches. Phone over here. Okay, great. Everybody's got a phone now. And then back to light switches. Okay, the stream's holding up. The stream's holding up. So I'm gonna do double light switch in here. One for the living room and one for the kitchen. Uh, where are we going to put this? I think I'm going to have to move the phone. Move the phone over here. Or, yeah, I don't care. Doesn't matter. Put the light switch there. And then we'll put another double light switch. Um, over here, maybe? Perfect. And then we'll put a single light switch in all the other rooms. So the bathroom gets a single light switch. Oh, I was putting the light bulb in the bathrooms. I forgot about that. Put a single light switch there, a single light switch here, and a single light switch in this bedroom. Oops, there we go. And a single light switch in this bedroom and a single light switch right here and i forgot i was putting the light bulbs and not the nicer lights in the bathrooms so let's go back let's go back and take those out this is a trailer we got to do the cheapest we can do we got to make this affordable housing you get a bare ass light bulb is what you get in your bathroom okay bare ass light bulb hanging out of the wall oh no it's dang it it's it's uh it's going out again Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the lights though. I'm gonna do the light. Oh no, it's back. It's back. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do the lights. Make sure I get these fancy lights out of here. Okay, no fancy lights for you in the trailer park. You gotta have bare light, bare light bulbs hanging. Nope, I did not grab that, did I? Yes, the stove hoods work as fire alarms. Yes. So they all have fire alarms. And then this trailer over here needs a light bulb as well. Let's grab that and get rid of that. Bare light bulb. There we go. Perfect. Um, now back to what we were doing. Light switches. So I think I got all the light switches in here. And then also I want to do a thermostat. So we're going to do... Where's the thermostat? Where are you, thermostat? Am I am I losing my mind here? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna do a thermostat. So I usually layer the thermostat with the light switch. So let me turn on move objects. And then I'll put the thermostat right here. Oops, right here above the light switch. So this is a thermostat. It's it's not real. It's always set to 72. It's just for decor, but I like to pretend that my Sims use it. And then, so also, in addition to that, I need to put a an air conditioning unit outside of every trailer. So we're going to put this one just back here in the back. So that's the air conditioning unit for this trailer. And then I'm going to put one on each trailer. It gets their own air conditioning unit. So this one here. It's facing the road, but whatever. Whatever. <laughs> you need that thermostat? Yes. I love the thermostats and all of this, like, realistic custom content. I love it. 
Uh, gonna put that one there. Everybody gets an air conditioning unit. One back here. Okay, there. Everybody's got an air conditioner because they live in Strange Town, right? They have to have an air conditioner. It's gonna be hot as hell in here. And so let me go back and get the thermostat and I'll go put one of those in all the houses to go along with their air conditioning. Uh, crap, I forgot. I put all the phones in exactly the place where I want to put the thermostat. I'll just move the phone over to the other side. Uh, same over here. I put the phone where I want to put the thermostat. Actually, I can put the thermostat right there. That's fine. I just like to put it by the door. And then one over here. Perfect. And then we'll go back and I'll do my light switches and all the other trailers. Uh, 72 is 22 degrees Celsius. 72 Fahrenheit is 22 degrees Celsius. And I think this has a Celsius... Oh, you can do 67, 72, or 76. No, it does not have a Celsius. I'm sorry. Um, 67, 72, or 76. I'm setting it to 72... So those are like, I don't know if anybody's made any other recolors of those. No, the AC does not actually work. It's decorative, but I do have vents that work. So you kind of can make it work. So I'll show you that in a minute. So I have, where are my vents? I think they're under miscellaneous appliances. So I actually have um, an air conditioning vent. You can put these in your house and your Sims can actually stand under them and cool off. They'll stand under them like in, and look like they have air blowing on them. And they get cooled off. So you can actually make this kind of functioning. And you can put these. So I'm also going to put these everywhere. So I'm just going to do one trailer at a time. Instead of going all over the place. We're going to start. Where's my trailer? This one. Um, so what I do is I like to put these in all the rooms. So I'll put one in the kitchen. I don't know where to put it. Put it above the counters maybe? I don't know. Get there. Get. Get. I'll put one in the kitchen. I'll put one in the living room. I'll put at least one in every room. Two in some rooms if it's a really big room. Um, I'll put one in the bedrooms. One there and one on this wall. So yeah, if your sims get hot, they can come cool off on the, in these. Using these. I'll put one in the bathroom. Put one over here in this bathroom. Okay, and did I put one in that bedroom? No, I did not. Put one in that bedroom. Nope, wrong wrong place. Scoot over, scoot over, scooch over. There we go. And so that should keep the trailer pretty pretty cool. You're gonna crack a beer. It's five o'clock somewhere. Cheers. <laughs> go for it. So I have a blog post on my website where I, with all of this realistic custom content, if you want to check it out. And I think I made a video about it too some time ago. I know, too bad we can't use those in test of time. I know. No more heat strokes. Um, no, they can't, yeah, they can't really use the kitchen one, but I don't care. There's plenty more they can use in the house. <laughs> There's plenty more. Okay, so this trailer is done. We've got light switches, we've got vents, we've got a uh, thermostat and air conditioner. So I think we're, oh no, the last thing we need is utility boxes. So I always put utility boxes, where are they? Here we go. Um, so like their electric meter and all that on the back of the house. So I'll just put one like that, that should be plenty. All right. So, I'll just go through really quick and put those on all the trailers. Um, it kind of sucks that this one faces the road, but that's okay. Maybe I should have had to face the other way, but that's alright. Um, uh, it'll be fine. It's a trailer park after all. So, I don't really care where these are going as long as they're somewhere on the back of the house. It's cool with me. Okay, there we go. So now they all have their meters. <laughs> this this trailer park is a huge upgrade for anybody who comes from the motel, definitely. <laughs> um, all right, so we got all that done and now I'm gonna move on to the next trailer and we're gonna do all of the, oh, and also another thing, toilet paper rolls, all right? We're putting toilet paper rolls. 
Toilet paper roll? Okay, no, not there. Scooch over. There we go. Toilet paper rolls in all the houses as well. Next to all the turlets. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the next one. We're gonna do light switches first. So I'm gonna do a double light switch in the uh, kitchen living room area. Oops, nope, scoot over. And then another double light switch uh, down here. And then we'll do a single light switch in each of the bedrooms and bathroom. Single light switch, move over closer to the door. There we go. And a single light switch in here. And I want to move this one close. I want to move this one actually over here where the door opens. Nope, come back. Come back. Come back, my friend. Okay, perfect. So I think that's all the light switches we need in there. Then the next thing we'll do... I did a thermostat already. Oh, I forgot outlets! I forgot outlets! Well, I mean, you can kind of pretend that this is a fuse box, too, with the utility meter. And I also have smaller ones that could be fuse boxes. I also have hot water heaters. But in these trailers, it's kind of hard to put a hot water heater. So we're just going to pretend it's the water's heated out of sight, I guess. <laughs> okay, and so what else was I going to do? Oh, outlets! I forgot outlets! Ugh, okay. We're going to do counter height electrical outlet. We'll do one... This is kind of tedious, but I do like how realistic it makes everything look. I mean, look how look how good that looks with the vent and the outlet and everything. I love it. How could we forget the toilet paper? I think you guys are behind because it looks like I'm dropping frames again, but I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going because I don't know what else to do. Okay, and we're going to do outlets in here. I'll do one in the living room so you could put like a stereo and TV there. I'll do, um, one in the bedroom. No, undo, undo. I'll do one in the bedroom there. I'll do one. I'll do two in this bedroom, I guess. In the master bedroom. Oops, undo. They're kind of hard. They can be kind of hard to place. Um, and then I'll do one in the third bedroom and one in the bathroom as well. So I have these bathroom ones. Where are they? There we go. Right there next to the sink. So you can use a blow dryer or something. Okay. Now that trailer should be completely done. I think that's everything. Um, oh, and also, you know what? I'll put another one just over here, too. Why not? Why not? And then, so I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to do the outlets really quick. So, I'm going to put... Uh, I don't know where to put them. I'm going to put one under each window. And I'll put one over here in the center. Put one over here. And then put one in the second bedroom. Right there. And then we'll put a counter height. Okay, perfect. And then we did light switches in here already. Um, so now we just have to do vents. So I'm going to go back to my vents. I'm going to make sure I get the cold air one. There's also a heating vent. So like if you, you could change these out or you could put both. Um, I usually just put the cooling vents, honestly. Oh, paper, thank you. Yes, toilet paper. Toilet paper. Let's put that here. Man, these trailers are gonna be super nice. Toilet paper, then let's go back and do the vents. So I'm gonna put one there. I'm just gonna kinda do the same thing that I did in the other trailers. One there. One in the bedroom. Uh, one in the bathroom. Nope, undo. Where shall I put it? I'll just put it here on this wall. And then one in the uh, bedroom as well. Okay, and then I, you know what? I'll put another one out here. 
Perfect. I should keep that little tiny tin can in the desert cold. Hello, National Pokédex. Hello. Pokédex? I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Uh, yes, the pink trailer has a ceiling. They all have a ceiling. They all have a ceiling. Um, okay, so I think that... Is that everything? We did vents, light switches... Oh, no. Did we... And outlets. And so I think we're good on that trailer. So let's move on to the other one. We just have two more to do. So while I'm here, I'll just go ahead and do the vents. Do one in the living room. Um, one in the kitchen. Get where... No, get where I want you to go. Get... No, why are you not going? Why is it doing that? Okay, there we go. Um, no, I think there's usually a slight delay, but hopefully you'll get caught up very soon because it looks like my stream is, is strong again. I'm so sorry for the technical difficulties today, y'all. I really do apologize. That sucks. Um, I think I'm going to start putting two in the living room as well. And then we'll put... Um... We'll put one here in this bedroom, one back here in the third bedroom, and then one in each of the bathrooms. Put one in this bathroom. Okay, so that's vents in everybody's rooms. And now we'll do light switches. Oh, and toilet paper. Can't forget the toilet paper. Do. Do -do. Hey, Rufinelli! Um, who is moving in here? Well, in one of the trailers, we're going to move in um, the Grunt slash Beaker family. And in another trailer, we're going to move in Tina and Willis. And then as for the others, uh, it just depends whoever can afford and needs a place to live. <laughs> yeah, the stream should be fine now, y'all. Okay, so we did the toilet paper. We did the vents. Let's do the light switches and outlets. So I'll start with light switches here. Oh, thank you so much, Tyler, uh, Taylor Ivana, for the four-month Prime sub. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you guys still subbing, even though I'm having horrible technical difficulties today. Thank you. Um, and I think I need to put another vent in that first trailer. I don't think I put this, another vent over here. No, I did not. Hold on. Let me do that. There. Okay. Back to, back to the thing at hand. Uh, we're going to do regular one light switches. One, one switch. Single switch. That's what I'm trying to say. Single switch in these rooms that only have a single light. Undo. Okay. Single switch over here. Um, single switch over here and a single switch over here. And so those are all the light switches. Now we just need to do the, um, outlets. You misspelled toilet paper. How dare you? Okay. I don't know. Yeah, that went, that went on. So that's fine. Counter height. We'll put the one in the bathrooms. So did I put the bathroom outlets in the other in the first trailer? I don't remember doing that. Not gonna go check now. Or if I did, I don't think I did both bathrooms. Let me go check. Where's my first? I definitely... Oh, I did one there. But I didn't do one there. I knew it. I knew it. We're gonna get this all done, y'all. I swear. <laughs> you don't have outlets in the bathroom? Um, yeah, these are a different type of, of uh, outlets that we have in our bathrooms. They have this, like, little red power switch on them. And we use that for, like, hair dryers and stuff. Shavers and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did I ever check if the pink trailer has ceiling tiles? Yes, it does. They all have ceiling tiles. I did all the ceilings at once. See? Um, okay, so where was I? Still over here doing outlets. 
I think. Yes, I'm over here doing outlets. All right. So we will do one out or two outlets in the living room, one on each side, depending on how our tenants need want to set up their living room. And then I did one in the kitchen. Oh no, you know what I forgot to do is outlets for, I forgot to do outlets for the stove and refrigerator. Okay, now I gotta go back and do those. It's like when you're doing all these little details, you always find something that you forgot to do and you're like, crap, now I gotta go do it, go back and do that. It's not so bad when you're only building a single house, but when you're building like multiple units like this, it's like, oh. Gotta go back and put outlets because I need it to be realistic even though nobody's ever going to see these outlets. I know they're there. I know they're there. <laughs> Hello, skinny Miss Legs. Hello. Okay, back over here. So wait, did I do these now? I don't even know. Yes, I did. All right. And I did the living room. So now I'm going to go do outlets for the bedrooms. So I'm going to put one here. For that bedroom i'm gonna put one i guess there i don't know um or against hold on against this wall um i just think like where an end table might go you know and i'll put one there or one there actually and maybe one on the other side too just in case i don't know i don't know that's good enough it's good enough. Yes, I did see that they added light switches in The Sims 4. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. I have an electric stove. I prefer a gas stove, but I have an electric stove. But even when I had a gas stove, it still had to have an outlet. The golden room has two light switches for one light. Are you talking about this one? Oh, it does. I put one outside each. Each door. Okay, that's good. I'll take that one out. Thank you. All right. So I think that house is done. All right. And so all we have left to do is the pink trailer. All right. We're getting close to being done, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and do outlets while I have them up here. So I will do a counter height outlet for any appliances here. And then we'll do... Um, the outlet for the stove and these clearly are electric stoves as well as you can see um the electric burners on them so they will definitely need uh they will definitely need an outlet so we did that now let's put an outlet in this bedroom i'll just put it right there put an outlet in put two out i'm gonna put two outlets in this bedroom one under each window so they can have two nightstands there or whatever and then outlets in the living room as well. So we'll put one here and one over here. Okay. And then I think that's all the outlets we need. Oh, the bathroom outlet. Put that next to the sink. Okay, perfect. Outlets are done. Thank you so much, Booger Sugar. Thank you, Booger Sugar, for the prime sub. I appreciate that. And then finally, we're going to go on. We got to go do toilet paper. Got to have that toilet paper roll. Everybody needs a toilet paper roll. Perfect. Oh wait, I didn't put an out. I didn't put in a uh, light switch. Oh, because I haven't done light switches yet. Yes, of course not, Cindy. You have not put light switches in here yet. Um, so I'm gonna put a light switch here in the living room, a double light switch, and then we'll put another double light switch over at the end of the living room. And then we will put uh, single light switches in the rest of the rooms. So one for the bathroom, one for this bedroom. Oops, come out, come on, come on. And one for the master bedroom as well, right there. Okay, bye King Nate, thank you for stopping by. You have a light switch that's connected to nothing in your home? I do too. I have one in my kitchen. I have no idea. It doesn't go, it doesn't do anything. So it's actually a double light switch in my kitchen. One of the light switches turns on the light above my sink, but the second one does nothing. I have no idea what it's for. It's so, it just, it frustrates me. <laughs> 
All right, so we've got light switches, we've got outlets. The last thing we need to do are vents. So those are under appliances here. And I'll make sure I do the cold vents. So we'll do one in the kitchen. No, undo, undo. One in the kitchen. And I'll do two in the living area. One, nope, that's not what I wanted. So there are, so with these meshes, if you get these, that you can do them at, on the floor, like at the bottom of the wall as well. I prefer to do mine at the top. Or I think the bottom is the heat. Okay, the bottom of the floor is the heat. So you could do, in all of your rooms, you could do one on the bottom and one on the top. The one on the top is for air and the one on the bottom is for heat. Because we're in the desert, I am just going to do the air. And there's also floor vents. And this is heat slash AC. So probably I should probably be doing that because it's both. But since we're in the desert, I'm just going to do the cool. But uh, if you have a house where they, you want to use cool or hot, you could use the floor vents. So I really love these things. And that, like I said, they are functional. All right, so I'm going to put one in the bedroom, one in the bathroom here. Just put it above the door. I'm going to put another one in the living room. And actually, I think I'm just going to put it right above that door as well. Or no, I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to put it down here. And then we'll put one in the bedroom. Okay, does every room have a vent now? I believe so. Okay, we're done. We're done with that. Did I forget anything that you guys saw? The downstairs hallway in your house has three light switches. Do they all work? <laughs> I do not have a garbage disposal. I, it, they, there may have used to have been one and I did think about that too, Sammy, that it maybe it used to be a garbage disposal. Yeah, deserts do get cold in the night, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care enough. I'm just, I like those vents, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I've had these vents for a long time. And any, I try to put them in any time I build something from scratch. Okay, I think I don't think I forgot anything. I think we are actually done with the trailers themselves, y'all. Let me know if I forgot anything, but I think the trailers are done. Check that out. Our little trailer community, it's coming along nicely. So let me save. Oh my god, I would hate to have to go back and do all that again. Can you imagine how tedious? Um, so now we're going to do the outside. So the first thing I want to do is I think I'm going to do a little like path. Let's get some floor tiles here and I'm going to use just the concrete. So I think I want to do, are those the concrete tiles I want? No, these are. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to do, I don't know how I'm going to connect to these yet. Hmm. So everybody gets a little concrete. And then what I was planning to do is just kind of making a little like this all the way around. I don't know if I like this or not though, so. <laughs> uh, I liked it until we got to the end. How about this? I mean, I kind of like that. And then we could do like a picnic area over here and a playground area over here or something like that. That could work. And then we could have a little garden area out in front of each one. Let's do that. So let's put, I want these to be cute. You know, I've got some cacti here. Let's put some little cacti out here. How about that? Oh yes, perfect. Perfect. I love that looks really good outside the blue trailer too, I think. And then we'll put a little here, one there. Put a couple here. One here. One here and a couple here. Okay. Just some little plants growing around. And then let me, let's do a little picnic area. Let's see. Um, we will do, we need a grill. So we want an outdoor grill. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna plop this down. I don't know how I'm gonna arrange it yet. And then we need some seating. 
So why am I doing that? I want to go out. What am I? What do I want to do? Party? No. No. Seating? Yes. Um. So I have some nice outdoor tables somewhere. There will be flamingos. Yes, for sure. The I like these Havana tables for outdoor tables, so I think I'll use those. And I'll just put... Or actually, no, no, no. I think I'm just going to use these uh, base game tables. So maybe two little tables out here and some chairs around. What's a nice outdoor chair? Yes, I am going to I'm going to put a little office over to the side so that they can go in and use the computer. Um let me see. What do I want to use for an outdoor chair? I mean, I guess we could use these. It would make sense, right? It would make sense for us to have these out in the trailer park, in the trailer yard. Hold on. Uh let me see. Okay. So, I'm, I gotta figure out how I want to place this. So, I think I'll put the grill right here. And then we'll put the tables maybe right here. I don't, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this. I'm just kind of experimenting. Uh, I think I want to move this back one. And do it like this. That's nice. Okay, I like that. That's good. Um, and let's put a little bit of like darker dirt underneath, I think. So. Okay, no, that looks gross. I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's try this. Nope. Okay, I guess it I guess we are doing garden soil. Oh, I kind of like that. That looks good. Okay, so there's a little picnic area and maybe we could put a couple more chairs like one here and one here. Okay. All right. Picnic area is done. And then over here, we will put like some little children's play equipment. So let's see what we have. Is it under hobbies? Yeah. Um, we could put a swing set. Could definitely put a swing set. Okay, and uh, maybe monkey bars too? A swing set and monkey bars? What do you guys think? Is that good? Put it here. That's a little bit too close. I'm gonna move it over. I just don't want to get it too close to that other trailer, but that's fine. Or maybe we'll do it like that. Can they? I don't know if they can play on it if it's like that. I think it has to be straight. Okay, so there's a little playground area. Let's put a little bit of that dark dirt underneath. Or darker sand, whatever. Okay, so there's the playground and the picnic area. What do you guys think so far? Pretty good? And, yeah, I should have renamed it to a... a uh, I should have renamed it to a building stream, yeah. I didn't know it was going to take this long. You know what took so long is putting all the light switches and stuff. I probably should have just done that off stream. Uh, we need the flamingos, though. Where are the flamingos, y'all? Are they in uh, miscellaneous or are they in are they in sculptures? I think they're in sculptures. It's been a long time since I placed a flamingo. Okay, so tell me if you see it. It's got to be here somewhere. Where are you, flamingo? Where are you? Do do. Uh. It's got to be like right here in front of my face, doesn't it? Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. Okay, so we're going to put a couple of these. We'll put one here. And another here. Some fl We gotta have the flamingos, okay? 
Flamingos are there. Um, yeah, let me, hold on, let me look at that. Where's the carousel? Should, what should I replace the, where should I put the carousel? Maybe I could put all three. Hold on. Let's move the swing back. Okay, let me turn move objects off. Oof, no, that goes right up against. Okay, no, we're not doing that. Undo. I guess I could replace the monkey bars. What do we think? Monkey bars or carousel? I think, uh, I like the carousel. I almost never put that down. Put the carousel. Yeah, I know. well, don't I have a mod to fix the flamingo stealing thing? If I don't, I thought I was gonna get one. Oh, I gotta hydrate, like, uh, three minutes ago. Let me hydrate. Thank you, I'm glad you like it. So, here's what we've got so far. A little playground equipment, and I actually kind of want to move that up a little bit. I think. No, I don't know. Okay, right there. Perfect. Um, so we've got picnic area, playground equipment, and then now we need to do an office over here. So I'm just going to build a little tiny building. All right, we're going to do... Um, let's see. Right here. This is going to be the office. And actually, we'll make the entrance this side. And we'll do two tiles. Two tile entrance. Put some rails on it. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Okay, there we go. Make some walls. Yeah, and this is just going to be the office where they can come and use the computer if they need to. Your city's known for pink flamingos. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put... Oh, no, I did not mean to do auto roofs. Undo, undo. I did not want to do auto roofs. But I did want to put uh, this roof here. And then also I wanted to put ceiling tiles on. Wait, go up. On this. Perfect. So yeah, this is going to be a little office. And what color siding should we do? Let's see. Hmm. I feel like that should have been that color green. Hmm. Now I'm rethinking my siding choices. Uh, I think I'll just do like a gray, maybe? Yeah, yeah, that'll that'll work. That's kind of grayish purplish. And then we'll put like a glass door on that looks like an office door. Um, like this. Nope. Let me turn it around. Wait, no, it was right it was right the first time. There. Okay, I need- I want it to be a double door now. Change my mind, I would like a double door, please. Where is the double- there it is. Okay, so there's the door into the office. And then when you go in, it's just gonna be like one little room. We're gonna put some beachy cane in there. No, it's the stream, I think. Sorry. Dropping frames again. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna still keep going and see if I could just get this finished. We'll put some um, tile or something. Wooden floor maybe? Wood floor? Ooh, no, that's way too dark. 
Mm, I want a white wood. There we go. Oh, there's a blue swatch to match this one. Is there a blue swatch to match this one set? Oh, yes. There. Perfect. That's even better. Thank you. Um, okay. So, in here, I'm just gonna put... Let's do some windows. So, it's not too awful. Put, a, put some windows there. Some windows on the other side. And then we're gonna put... Um, we're just gonna make this like an office. We're gonna put a desk in here. Okay, put the desk here and put an office chair in here and we'll put a hacked computer in here. Let's see, hacked computer. Okay. Actually, I think we should put a desktop. We should put a hacked desktop in here. There we go, perfect. All right, and then I'll put like some office supplies to one side or some books or something i don't know miscellaneous where's those desk supplies there we go desk supplies and then i'll put like a little couch where people can sit and wait this one right here perfect the old beat up couch We'll put like some plant in here. It doesn't have to be fancy. It's just the trailer park office. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's way too fancy for the trailer park office. What else you got? What else we got? This right here. Or actually we should put, I'm gonna put a sim blender in here just in case I need one. I'm gonna put a sim blender in here. Anything that I might need. I'll put a little rug here as well. Um, I may try, I will try to make a base game, for, I'll try to make a no CC version. Because this one has a lot of custom content in it. But I'll try to, uh, extract a lot and make a no CC version to share. Um, I just want a little, nope. I just want a little mat. Where's the little, like, doormat thing? This right here. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And I actually think I want to recolor that. Not to green. Yeah, there we go. So there's a little rug. And I mean, that's really all you need. We need a light. We need a light in there. We need, um, that's pretty much it. It just needs to be a, like a little office like this. I did think about putting a little mini fridge in there. If any of our sims were starving, they could come grab something out of it. Um, and that could be like for the landlord. That's the landlord's refrigerator too. And then on the wall, or let's put a light switch in. Um, we'll put an outlet here, an outlet here. Um, uh, we will put a thermostat here. I will put an air conditioning unit on this as well. Because it's really hot out here in the desert. And we'll put a couple of vents in here. Or at least one vent. I guess it really only needs one vent for this little office. Um, uh, let's see how it looks. Yeah, there's the office. I wish I had, like, an office sign. You know what I mean? That would be really nice. If I had, like, a little sign I could put here. I know I do have some lighted signs. But I don't think any of those would work. Um... I don't think I have anything really that would work, but... Like, that's fighting llamas, and that's romance, so... <laughs> don't know. I don't know that any of these would work. Um, I will put this here. 
I need to see if I can find an office sign, like a custom content office sign. Um, and then over here, I'm going to put a little parking area. So let me save. So far, I think it's looking pretty good. And then, yeah, over here, I'm going to put a little parking area. I know the stream is still... I'm still um, dropping frames. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to try to get through this today. So I can put parking lots, but nobody can actually use them. Which sucks. I'll put a little parking lot there. Clear. Um... Where's the flooring that I need? Where's my flooring? There it is. So I'm just gonna do this parking area. Let's do move objects on, which I don't think this is gonna stay here, but I st I'm still gonna do it. And then I will put, let me see, where's my flooring? So one, two, three. Wait, is that right? Are they three across? Okay, I need to I need to delete that thing that I did. Okay. I don't remember if the parking parking spaces. I gotta check these out. So, yeah, they're three across. So your residents won't be able to use this, but cars will, like, actually show up here. And it'll look like people are parked here, so that's better than nothing. Okay. And let me put another one here. So there will be one, two... Three parking spots. That's all this place is gonna have. And then let me do 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 Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I'm almost done. So close, that's fine. Nope, undo. And then all I have to do is put parking blocks now. Okay, and then I'm going to put some sidewalk tiles around this. And now I'm thinking I should have moved everything over one. Hmm. I'm going to move everything over one. <laughs> one tile. So that it's not so close to the trailer over there. And then let me get this, or no, 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 oops, this, this here, this here, and then I'll redo these. <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Uh, this way, perfect, perfect. Okay, and then we will also put... Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I didn't move that over. Okay. I didn't move these over. Perfect. And... Perfect. Okay. And then one more here. So there's the parking area. And then what I'm going to do is make a path from the parking area over to the trailers. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay. And then I'm going to center the swing set a little bit more. There we go. All right. And then this is pretty much centered here. I'm going to move these because obviously they can't be growing there. Hold on. Okay. We will put these out here. 
I'm still dropping frames, but I'm almost done. And then a couple more plants around, and I think we'll be just about done. Um, let me see. What other cacti do I have? That one's a little too big to put anywhere. Oh, that's nice. We'll put these out here. Lovely. <laughs> the parking area is not usable for the residents in the apartment lot, but cars will automatically be parked here, so it will look like... It'll look like it's usable. It's j it, it, c it could be usable if you were doing it on a residential lot, but for um, an apartment lot, you're not going to be able to use it. But it'll look like you can use it. And I'm going to throw some cacti out here, maybe. Maybe back here. I love this. It's looking so good, y'all. And then uh, I want to put something here. I think we have these little prickly pear. Where is a prickly pear? Prickly pear! So I'm going to put these here. Make like a little flower bed of prickly pear. And I'm going to use like some railroad tie. Where's the fence? Oh, and also I need to put some lights around as well. And then let me get the dark darker dirt like this okay there's our prickly pear bed and I think I can put a few little plants like behind that or within it I don't know somewhere around it these are cute I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to do something here. I don't know how that looks. That looks ridiculous. No, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe we'll just put a couple of these here. Like that. A couple of these. Like that. I don't know if I like that or not. I'm trying to do something with these. And then finally, I don't like those. I don't know. I don't like, they need to be part of like something else. I don't like them just sticking up. I don't know. I tried. I tried something. I can place a parking space, but they won't, I don't think they'll be able to use it, Gabby. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh yeah, these are nice. I'm going to put some of these. I did not um, space those properly. Yes, I like that. Still didn't space them properly. We'll do it like that. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know. Does that look right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, that's cute. And then I'm gonna put another cactus back here. Uh, where are you? Where's my big boy? Where's my big cactus? Am I am I losing my mind? There's a big one. I put one there, and I thought I had another one. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna do that little skinny one. I'm gonna do this. So these are all uh, these cactus that you see here are all Sims Four conversions. I believe they came from Strangerville. All right. There. Yay! I like it so far. So the last thing that I'm going to do right now is go around with a little bit um, of a darker soil. Okay, wait. That's way too much. That's way too much! Uh... 
Okay, let me just try with a lighter hand. Ah, do what I want you to do. Because I feel like there would definitely be... You know, the ground would not be perfectly symmetrical. Or perfectly... Not symmetrical. I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Textured like that. There would be different textures and stuff. Okay, I don't like that one. You undo that one. Ah, that's alright, I guess. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same, Cindy. You're like, I don't like that. It's exactly the same. Um, I will, I am going to make a version of this, uh, for download, but it'll to give me a couple days to do it. Uh, maybe I'll try and work on it tomorrow. Um, because this has a lot of custom content in it, so I'll make one that has minimal custom content. Maybe just the cacti or something. Um, because I'm not gonna, I'll, like, take out all the light switches and stuff. Or I don't know, maybe I'll just leave those in and say this is the custom content you have to have. You gotta get those light switches and, and, uh, and vents and stuff if you want it. But yeah, I'll make a, I will make a version of this available. Yes, I have to make this into an apartment lot because right now it's just a residential lot. Um, so I will do that as well. Oh my god, go. Okay, but what do you guys think so far? Oh, and also I wanted to put, put a couple of street lights out. Let me put street lights. Um, and we'll do these right here. So I'm going to put a street light on each end. And for the parking lot area, I'm just going to, I'm going to kind of do a street light actually right here for the parking lot area. No, there's a cactus where I want it to go. It'll just have to go right there on the edge of the trailer. And then I'll I'll make this street light right there. Okay. So that kind of lights the way into the trailer park. Oh, and also uh, there. So let's see what it looks like at night. So here's how it's going to look at night, y'all. I love it. And then, you know what? We need to put a couple more lights out here, I think. Um, let's see. Like... Oh, I don't know. These look like too fancy for the trailer park, in my opinion. Hmm. Do they look too fancy? I don't know. We'll just do one on the corners. How about this? That's not too fancy, is it? Let's see. Let's see how it looks in the day. Okay. So we have our little trailer community here, y'all. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It looks very nice. I think our little families are gonna be so happy here. So we were, I was planning on moving in our families today and I think we would have had time if it weren't for all the technical problems. So I guess next week, next week, Strange Town Saturday, y'all. Um, I will try to have this uh, up, ready for upload to share for you guys by next Saturday. And also, we will be moving our families in as well. Yes, and I have to change this to an apartment lot too. I'll do that later. Um, another wood post? I don't know what you mean by wood post. And so what... Oh yeah, so I'm going to put the apartment mailboxes probably over here by the office somewhere. And, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll definitely put, like, the trash can back over here as well. I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the, I think I'm going to put the mailboxes over here somewhere. I'm not sure. I'll have to mess around with it and see how I like it. I mean, it would be kind of better to be in the middle, but there's not really much room here. Um, I can't wait to move our families in here and see how that's going to go. That's going to be super fun. So we'll do that next week. 
uh, on Strange Town Saturday. Oh yeah, and let me, I'll show you guys with the uh, roof down again so you can see the whole thing. So here it is. Here's our whole trailer park, y'all. Our Strange Town, Strange Town trailer court. <laughs> Thanks guys. Um, I don't think I'm going to stream on Monday. I have got a, I've got a lot of content that I'm going to try to put out next week, but I'll let you know if I change my mind. Otherwise, and so yeah, there's not going to be a stream tomorrow because I'm going to be working on, um, finishing up my Sims 4 save file and I also have some personal stuff I have to do. But next week I've got lots of videos coming out for you guys and I will see you at the very latest next Friday for a stream. Hopefully if my internet gets uh, fixed by then. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me through the technical difficulties. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the subs. Uh, and thanks for watching. I'm glad you enjoyed this build stream. I didn't intend for it to be an entire build stream, but that's what it turned out to be. So next week on Strange Town Saturday, we'll be back to gameplay. We're going to move Tank and Aaron and their kids into this trailer. This trailer right here. They're going to move in here. And then Tina and Willis are going to move into this trailer. And then I guess we'll just have Townies move into the other two trailers. I don't know who's going to move in. That's always fun to find out. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And like I said, I'll see you next week with more content. And I'll see you next Friday with another stream. All right, guys, bye.